I'm Jenny Williams with Extra Living at EXP Realty, and today we're at King's Home. You're watching Life Along Highway 280 in Chelsea. We have a fascinating guest today. What makes living in 280 and Chelsea area so wonderful are our incredible neighbors and people within the community that are doing things to really impact lives in a positive way. And today I have a, again, a fascinating guest and I'm here today at King's Home in Chelsea and you can see just how beautiful it is. And I'm here with Lou. Hey Lou. Hey Jenny, how are you? <laughs> it is a beautiful campus, isn't it? It is, it's beautiful and you dreamed all this up, right? I did not. <laughs> King's Home's been a part of the Birmingham community for 46 years. I've been here for almost um, just starting my 19th year. Oh, I can't believe it's been 19 wonderful. years. October 15th, uh, completed my 18th year. So I've just loved it. I've loved being a part of the King's Home team and seeing youth and moms and kids find hope in life when they need a chance to start over. I do love your slogan. Yeah, you know, where hope lives because um, 98% of our residents have experienced really, really horrible abuse. They feel like there is no hope in the world. Right. I can't tell you how many times in 18 years, um, over and over and over again, residents said, Mr. Lou, when I came to King's Home, I had no hope. One little kid said I was being beaten with boat paddles uh, uh -huh. every day. Um, another little girl uh, was left literally starving at home because her mom was an addict and just didn't come back home and, and she was there with her three-year-old sister and she said after three days we were starving I didn't know what else to do except take my little sister and start walking down the road and hope that we would find help and one mom said I got on a bus in Montana with a few hundred dollars in my pocket and I, all I knew is I was going to get a, as far away from that domestic violence as I could she rode a bus from Montana to Montgomery and somebody said hey call uh, King's Home, they'll come pick you up, and we went and picked her up in the in the middle of the night. So, just story after story after story of youth and moms and kids, um, you know, needing a way to start over in life, and they can do that at King's Home. So, how long does the average resident stay? So, our youth program uh, has always been known as the King's Ranch. We changed our name; it's right. like the King's Ranch in Hannah Home. And after I said that for about 12 years, I said <laughs> we need to shorten that name a little bit. So, uh, for the last few years, it's King's Home. But on all of our printed material, we still underneath say the King's Ranch in Hannah Home. Um, and so, the youth program, uh, the young people are with us. Um, can be two years, it could be through high school graduation. Um, adult moms now. So that's stability. It is. Um, it's you know, not like, hey, you got 90 days to. Jenny, we had one kid that has had, he had 21 prior placements before coming to King's Home. Wow, that's and he was 15 years old. He had lived in 21 different places by the time he was 15 years old. And he graduated high school and he said, you know, what a blessing to come here as a ninth grader and not have to move again after living in 21 different places. That so, is a blessing. you know, it's very common for our young people in the youth program to have lived in five, six, seven, eight, nine different places by the time they come to us. So, so um, you know, King's Ranch has changed over the years. Uh, way back in the 70s, we were a traditional orphanage um, kind of uh, group home. Today we're a therapeutic home for teenagers really that you know that nobody else will take. Um, they haven't been successful anywhere else. That's why they have so many other placements. They've gotten kicked out of foster care and it, usually it's just they're, they're, they're great kids. They just need they need therapeutic help. They need uh, really a lot of structure and boundaries, healthy structure and boundaries um, and and then they can flourish and do well in school and do well with their peers. Um, so that's what in the youth program we want our young people to experience. So we have mom and dad in the houses behind us here. Mom and dad live in every home with their biological kids with our King's Home kids. So we're one big family all together, 12 to 15 per home, um, eight foster kids if you will. And um, 
and they're doing life together and, and uh, we're setting goals. I tell everybody, we're not a hangout program. You can ask every one of our kids. Every kid is working toward a goal and same for our adult women uh, with children fleeing domestic violence, uh, known as the Hannah Home all these years. Right. You know, we know it's no little girl's dream to want to grow up and live at Hannah Home. So our adult women, the first two weeks they're there, they're trying to heal, they're trying to get over that hurt uh, that they've experienced in abuse and domestic violence. And so, you know, we want to give them that opportunity. But within two weeks, they're setting goals too. Job, job training, continuing education. Even right here in this building where we are at King's Home, we have our prodigal pottery operation where uh, 11 of our women work right now built, uh, making beautiful handmade uh, pottery. So. Um, you know, we want to help our adult women uh, in the same way. Well, it gives them an opportunity to, um, one thing that I've learned is that when you have goals, that's always helped me, then um, you have something to focus on. Right. You won't normally get um, taken down a path right. that you can't or that will be difficult to overcome. Um, so I think that is genius that, you know, you make, what, you know, can you share some of the goals that you've heard that? So our young people, um, we're going to require an educational goal because we know education is a key to their future success uh, after King's Home. Uh, so we want them to be successful in school. They all attend, about 80 kids uh, at any given time. Uh, we have three campuses in Shelby County. This is our main campus or our girls campus, all girls homes here. Our boys campus is eight miles away and then we have two more boys homes on a, in a different location off of Highway 55. So all attend Shelby County schools um, in one location or another. Uh, all setting educational goals, they're setting career goals, uh, we're teaching them life skills that nobody else has ever taught them before. Just really from the basics, uh, when they first arrive, when, when they've lived in 10, 15 different placements, nobody's re really ever cared whether they did well in school or with their life skills. How do you greet someone appropriately? How do you have good table manners? Um, those are all, you know, very basic things that we take to take for granted sometimes that our kids have no idea about. Personal hygiene, how do I wash my clothes appropriately? But not only that, you know, in, in a safe, loving home where they can worship together on Sundays and, and start the day with prayer and devotion and be family together and do life together. And that's what our young people do every single day. In the, um, well, seeing it is so important too. Living it and being in that environment instead of um, probably some of the chaos that they've seen before yeah, in yeah. their life. Because all they've never, ever known is hurt and abuse and violence. And, you know, it's in the 90th percentile, percentile when there's abuse in, in, in the home. There's also drug and alcohol addiction or some type of addiction issue. And so our kids have experienced all of that and some of just the grossest things you can ever imagine. Mm. Um, you know, but our kids are resilient. We share Jeremiah 29, 11, that God has a plan and a hope and a future for your life and, and that um, what you've experienced, no one should ever have to experience, but you can grow from that and learn from that and be stronger from that if you'll just let him. And so that's what we point them toward that hope every day. So do you have, um, do you do a lot of fundraising? We do, uh, just have to. We have a big event coming up um, oh, in just a couple of weeks. So Campfire for the King is November the 14th. It will be here on this beautiful campus. And uh, professional bass uh, angler Randy Howell will be fishing on the lake right here. Um, and so we kick the day off with a fishing rodeo for the whole community. It's a uh, free family fun event. Um, that does so, sound fun. You know, we got high school fishing teams that come and help Randy show every kid how to fish if they want to. We even have a fishing competition uh, for the biggest fish that uh, you catch by category, so it's fair for everyone by age. Um, and so that's a lot of fun. We have inflatables um, that are on the front side of the property here where there's a big flat area. We have live entertainment. We have hay rides around the lake, all around the property. Well, you've got a lot planned. That so it's fun. a lot of fun. <laughs> we have uh, we have an equine program called King Stables and they bring horses over. And so we have uh, horse led um, uh, ho uh, horse rides here. Uh, so, 
you name it, we're going to have fun. Now, at the end of the day, at 2 o'clock, Randy gives away his boat every year. We take $100 donations for a chance to win his boat. And so that's uh, really the climax of Campfire for the King, is Randy giving away his boat um, to a lucky winner. And so we take, and this is his 10th year. It's a $83,000 boat, so it's fully um, rigged with everything imaginable for a professional bass angler. Uh, Randy won the 2014 Bassmaster Championship. That's like winning the Super Bowl. Uh, and um, Sounds like y'all need to come check this out. That's right. <laughs> and Randy's been a professional bass angler um, since he was 18 years old. And uh, he just wanted a way to give back to the community. Uh, he came and spoke to our kids years and years and years ago and just fell in love with our kids and fell in love with King's Home and said, hey, what about this idea? You know, I'll give away my boat and we'll try to raise a lot of money for King's Home. It's a great through, idea. Through last year, we, he had raised $1.4 million for King's Home wow. over nine years. And his goal this year is $250,000. So um, we, uh, we hope that he reaches his goal, um, <laughs> yes. taking those hundred dollar <laughs> donations for a chance we to We need win you boat. to come and That's try right. to win this boat. <laughs> That's right. More than one. You know, you can make more than one donation. So And it's November 14th, right? November 14th. Okay. Saturday, November 14th. We even have a cornhole tournament. Um, we had our first one last year. Unfortunately, um, the weather didn't cooperate real well, but they modified it and they actually had it in this area here. Uh, That's an open area covered. That's yes, right fun in front. That's and that so was fun. Right they now. had a great time. This year it's going to be great weather and they can all spread out and have fun with their cornhole tournament. But that's sponsored by the Alabama Cornhole Association. And um, so we're looking for a big turnout there. They start at 8 o'clock so that they can be done by about 12 because they have elimination rounds. And there is an entry fee for that. But just go to kingshome.com okay. and you can get all the information all about campfire, whether it's the boat or cornhole or hay rides or inflatables. I love it. <laughs> well, thank you so much for sharing all of this inspiring place. It's just so beautiful. It is. It's and uh, we just appreciate you being such a great member of our community. <laughs> oh, we love being in Chelsea. Um, Chelsea is a great community to be a part of and the local support is just uh, amazing. Um, from uh, the mayor to county commission to I've already bragged on the school system. I mean, they just, they do so much for our kids and they just embrace our kids because our kids can come from 25 different counties all over the state. Like right now, about 25 different counties. They can come from all 67 counties all over the state. Um, but they just embrace our kids and want to help them and support and encourage them. And that's what we found from the whole Chelsea commu community. Uh, very loving, yes. giving community. Yes, yes. I get to see it every day yeah. and I'm so happy and thrilled that I get to help people move to Chelsea because it's such a great place to live. So um, you see why it's so <laughs> great we have people like this. <laughs> so um, if you want to go and make a donation and uh, you know help out here and uh, really support these kids um, what would you say the best place is? Kingshome.com. Okay kingshome.com uh, and uh, come out and get a chance to win that boat. I'm that's doing right. that. $83,000 <laughs> boat. It is an amazing boat. That's for sure. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank you. Such a great opportunity to visit the King's home here today in Chelsea. What an inspiring place again this place is and what Lou and his staff and family members are doing here to uh, support children and to really give people a chance, a better chance at life is such amazing. You know everybody wants their forever home and luckily that's what I do. If you're looking for a place that you want to call your forever home, just give me a call at 205-223-1044. I'll find it for you.